If you appear for a microservices interview in 2026, the first question might be, do you know REST API? And when you say yes, they will follow up like, how do you design your API? Tell me all the best practices that you follow to meet industry standards. The tip number one, Design your URLs with nouns. Nouns are the resources that you have inside your system or project. If you talk about an e-commerce project, it's all about orders, users, account, products, and all that. And here is a pro tip. Don't design URLs like create product, delete product, get product. These are like taking action. Avoid that. Use nouns. The follow-up question. If I'll give this endpoint slash products to my client, how do even client know how to get all the products, how to create a product? Well, there comes the HTTP method. And that's the tip number two. You need to choose the right kind of HTTP method for the right kind of URL. Something like to fetch, we have a get. To create, we have a post. To delete, we have delete. To have an update, we have put. And to have a partial update, we have a patch HTTP method. Now you can give your API to your client to use it. But how do your client knows whether your server is able to process their request? So here comes the best practice number three, sending the right HTTP status code. For an example, whenever you are successfully able to process the client request, you can send them a status code 200 OK. When the client is creating a resource on your system, you can send them 201 created. When your client is sending request, but with improper details, then you can give them status code 400 bad request. But what about your application is not able to process the client request because you have some internal errors or exception. That time, send them 500 server error. The best practice number four is versioning. When you sell your API to client, over the time things changes and your API started to evolve. For example, previously, if you are taking only username and mobile number to create a user, but right now, you want to take email ID also to create a new user on your system, then do not adjust your existing API because adding new fields can break the client system. And breaking the client system means breaking the trust. Remember, REST APIs are like contract between your system and the client system. Never break it. Whenever there is a change required, do versioning and create new API. Now goes the tip number five. Do proper error handling on your system and send the client error messages by staying consistent with different types of error messages that your system generates. For an example, a resource not found, a validation error, a client error, or a server error should follow a consistent error response structure that will help the client to consume your errors without having an issue. Well, these are my top five best practices tip. If you got anything new in the store, let me know in the comments.